It was a change coming to North America for the first time. It's a culture shock. When you're away uh, in a different continent and time different is about six hours, it's hard to um, kind of talk to your, your parents or your friends. It's a weird, weird kind of feeling, and, and certainly I have never had these kind of problems. So when you experience it for the first time, it's, it can be intense, and you can, you can start to feel emotions that have never really been there. I grew up in Slovakia. That's where I was born. My dad, he was a professional ice hockey player, and he played in different countries uh, like Russia, Czech Republic, uh, Finland, and Sweden, and more. Or wherever he went, we kind of went with him, me and my whole family. But uh, Košice is, is where I where I grew up. It will always be a, a home for me. I was four years old. That's when I first stepped on the ice. It was actually with my dad. It was in Moscow, Russia. The club that he was playing in, they, they gave him um, free ice that, that he could skate. So he kind of took me with him and I was following a lot, but I picked up really quickly, I guess. And yeah, that, that's, that's where I started. When I was 13, maybe, I was playing in Finland in, in, uh, in a town called Lahti. I was playing a year up with, with older guys. So, um, and even, even there, I think I, I, I was doing very well. And that's where I started to see that I could have a potential and, and that I can actually play the game of hockey. I played in the USHL, which is the junior ice hockey league in America, the best one. It was different, but luckily I had, uh, I had a great build family. The Hoffs, they're, they're great. I absolutely love them. I, I'm still in contact with them, with them now, and, and they've been a big support. I guess before coming to Michigan State or being on campus, I did feel like I know what I was going into, but it was different than I, than I thought it would be. Uh, stepping on campus, it's, I'd say that's more of a bigger culture shock. He did exceptionally well in South Dakota because he was around a very solid support system. Um, and then here he was a little lost coming in. He had to make new teammates, form new relationships with everybody in general. He didn't know anyone coming into it. I guess my first two weeks I was, I was fine with it. I was like, cool, yes, yeah, so I can get used to this. But right around the third week I could start to feel kind of the home, homesickness. With my parents not being here, it uh, can be hard to function in daily activities, and you can see it on your performance, too. When you kind of feel like something's not right, you can be tired, low energy, you feel like you don't really want to do a whole bunch, and that can you know, affect your drive and, and how things should be done. I think everyone goes through different moments, right? And I remember moving away from home and this wasn't across the pond. I mean, I was just moving from Sheboygan to Marquette and having those feelings. And he's lived away from home since he, at a young age, but now you're talking about being overseas and then you throw in college, the demands of being a student athlete. There's a lot of real there and it's okay to have those feelings and but also know that you have support here and all that anyone at Michigan State wants to do is help you be great and fortunate that he was willing to reach out and look for some help. If you're coming from a different country, I mean, everything is different for you. Even the plugs, you're driving on the opposite side of the road. Um, just these very basic things, your food, your diet, everything is completely different. There's a whole shift in culture in what's normal and what's abnormal. I can talk to her pretty much about anything without, without any judgment. So I think that's a, that's a big thing for, for someone who, uh, who doesn't feel the greatest. And, and she always just gives me tips or, or tries to explain how, how things work and how it can be helped. Initially, he was feeling anxious socially. That's gone down substantially um, since he's been here. So it's been interesting to watch things shift for him. Maybe things that were once very anxiety provoking for him are no longer that way. He now has the ability to recognize if the anxiety is rational or if it holds irrational components in it, but that it's also temporary. He's made a lot of progress in a short amount of time. Not everyone's progress looks like that. Max is definitely uh, lucky 
student athlete, a lucky individual to grow quickly. He's really taken the things that we've talked about in session and applied it to his life. To the top of the circle, oh, shot, hey. goal! And that How about is that? the first point of the season for Max Sturbeck. I can definitely, definitely feel it on the ice and off the ice too. I'm more at peace. I can kind of work with emotions more. I'm not saying that I know it all or where there are in times where I feel lonely or homesick or however you want to call it, but you certainly learn how to work with, with all of this more. I feel like it's okay to not be okay. Um, and that's that's been a big part to kind of realize that um, that things can be hard and they actually will be hard, but it's the way that you respond to them that matters. There's always times that will be harder, but uh, now I kind of know how to respond to them and, and what to do when, when those times come. So I'm just feeling hopeful.